LG Display. While I didn't get it in time for our best buys of 2021, I am now the proud owner of an LG C10 LED TV. It is beautiful, does 4K HDR variable refresh rates and more. Everything looks amazing on it. As I bought it, I thought about how I've never been at the vanguard of TV tech and how it would only last a couple of weeks until LG ruins it all with ever newer TV models. And like clockwork, here it comes, LG displays next generation of OLED tech called OLEDX that's supposed to enhance brightness up to 30%. Compared to conventional OLED displays, the company also upgraded the TV's designs too, reducing the thickness by 30% and bezel size from 6 to 4 millimeters on 65 in cold displays. In defense of my new 55 inch OLED, this is LG Display, not LG, the part of the multinational company that brings this new TV tech to stores, so that doesn't mean it's landing in a new TV immediately. It's just sigh, already on the horizon. Matt Smith, Fortnite went briefly offline yesterday. It's back now. If you had tried to play Fortnite yesterday, you may have had issues. Many players were unable to log into their accounts and play games. At 1.13 p.m. Eastern Time, Epic Games said it was investigating an issue, and roughly six hours later, the Battle Royale hit was back online. Epic Games said that it would have more details next week on what we're doing to help you make up for lost time. Continue reading. China says its space station dodged Starlink satellites twice this year. SpaceX constellation might pose a safety risk. Getty Images. China has filed a complaint with the United Nations over two reported near collisions between the in-progress Tiangong space station and Starlink vehicles. According to Chinese officials, the station had to perform evasive maneuvers on July 1st and October 21st this year to minimize the chance of a collision. In its complaint, the country asked the UN Secretary General to remind countries, read the US, that parties in the Outer Space Treaty are responsible for incidents beyond Earth, even if they involve private companies. The accusations line up with astronomer Jonathan McDowell's conjunction observations for both days. China further argued that SpaceX satellites weren't always predictable. During the October incident, the Starlink craft was continuously maneuvering in a way that made it difficult to predict the orbital. Continue reading. Rivian's R1T electric truck brings adventure to the EV crowd. Not just an impressive EV, but an impressive truck. Announcing a vehicle is one thing, actually following through and building that vehicle at a factory and then selling it that's an almost impossible feat for a new company, but like Tesla before it, Rivian has pulled it off and in doing so has built one of the best trucks on the road today, EV or otherwise. Roberto. Baldwin jives at a test drive. Continue reading. Jabra's Elite 4 active earbuds add ANC and better sweat resistance. They're only available in some countries right now. Jabra only just launched its Elite 3 wireless earbuds, but here's their sequel. The Elite 4 active is a step-up model that adds active noise cancellation and improved IP57 water resistance up from IP55. Expect to get a claimed 7 hours of battery life from the buds themselves in 28 hours when you include the charging case. The Elite 4 Active is available now in the UK for £120, about $161, but they haven't been announced for the US just yet. Continue reading. Roku expands its TV Ready program. More audio devices will be able to automatically pair with Roku TVs. Roku TVs will be able to pair quickly with even more audio products in the future. The company has expanded its TV Ready certification program, adding Element, JVC, Fianu and Philips this year, with Poke Audio and Westinghouse joining the list in 2022. Roku also opened the program internationally, and partners like Bose are expected to launch TV-ready devices in the United Kingdom, Canada and Mexico soon. The TV-ready initiative makes it easy to connect sound bars and speakers to Roku TVs, so long as the audio device supports the feature, it will automatically be detected as soon as you plug it in. Continue reading. The biggest news stories you might have missed. Samsung says the Galaxy Flip 3 motivated more people to switch than its flagships. Let's Play. Oink Games is no jackbox but it's a worthy party game collection. Researchers used CT scans to virtually unwrap a pristine mummy. The best accessories for your new PlayStation 5. January's PS Plus games include Persona 5 Strikers and Dirt 5. All products recommended by Engadget are selected by our editorial team independent of our parent company. Some of our stories include affiliate links. If you buy something through one of these links, we may earn an affiliate commission.